Hey guys, this is Gabriel Lorenzi, creator of the blog Grupo Dicas, one of the biggest travel blogs in the world. And today we are going to talk about all the tips of Barry Loshi. It's a very complete video, guys. We have summarized it, all the main tips you need to know before you go there. What's the weather like? When does it snow? When it's high season, low season? Is it full? Is it empty? When it's more expensive? What currency should you use? How do you exchange the Argentinian pesos with the dollars? The tours, where to buy them? How to save money? Where to be located? Guys, it's a very complete video with all the best tips for you and your trip to Barry Luchy. So enjoy the video. Don't forget to give us that like, subscribe to the channel because that really helps us a lot and buckle up. Well, Bariloche is one of the most visited places in the world, especially for skiing, for those who are looking for snow sports now. So it's a very visited place and very touristy and there are several important tips that you need to know to travel there. We will start with the simplest one that usually is the first that comes to people's mind, how to get to Bariloche. Where is Bariloche? Bariloche is in Argentina, but it's way down, okay guys, from Argentina. You will see that on the map there is Buenos Aires, which is a little bit up there. And it's a little bit far away from Buenos Aires, okay guys, from Bariloche. Bariloche is 20 hours by car or by bus from Buenos Aires, so it's kind of complicated to go from Buenos Aires to Bariloche by bus or by car. You can go, but it takes a lot of time. What most people do is to take a plane, so most of the close countries like Brazil, Chile, that are close to Argentina, in the high season mainly, have direct flights to Bariloche. So, do some research, usually you can get a direct flight. Now, the countries that are further away, if you live somewhere else, probably you will have to make a connection in Buenos Aires and then go to Bariloche. A good tip, many people end up taking the same ticket, sometimes even cheaper, the one with the connection in Buenos Aires, and then they end up enjoying two or three days in Buenos Aires. You can go visit the city, go sightseeing, it's a way for you to see both cities in just one trip. The places are close, not so close, but you can enjoy both places. Now talking about the season, when to travel to Bariloche, when does it have snow, when not. Guys, the thing is, in Bariloche we will have the months from June to September, which are probably the months that it snows because it's winter, right? July and August are the peak, so July and August are the coldest months that have the most snow, that have the most snow around, so people look more for these two months, that's why they are the most expensive, it's the high season, everything is more crowded and everything is more expensive. June and September are not so snowy anymore. It doesn't snow as much, but there is still a beginning and an end of snow, so people still usually go there. If you like skiing, guys, try to go in September or August because the snow accumulates, so the snow accumulation gets a little bit bigger. It's better for those who practice sports, and those are the months when prices are lower, but even so, it's still a little bit crowded, a little bit expensive. And then the summer months, which includes this month, the months a little bit of spring, Spring, going to summer into fall, you end up getting everything much emptier, much cheaper, and it's worth it to visit Bariloche in the summer, guys. Yes, it is. People, it's an incredible place. The nature there is beautiful. The lakes there is gigantic. That uh, bathes Bariloche. The mountains, the forests, you can hike. Cerro Catedral itself, which is where people ski, which is the ski center, it works in the summer with other things. That are the trails, there are the panoramas, you go up in the mountains. Guys, the view is the most beautiful thing in the world, so it's worth it too. In the summer, you can do everything easier, eat emptier, and yes, it's a good place to visit in the summer too. How to get to the hotel in Bariloche? Bariloche has an airport, which is where most people arrive, and there you have some options. You can go there by car, you can rent a car at the airport and go there, make the trip by car. We'll comment here about car rental, whether it's worth it or not, but you can go there with a rental car, you can take a cab, or you can also take a transfer. We highly recommend either renting a car or, if you don't rent a car, taking a transfer, because it's cheaper than the cab on the spot, it's more reliable, and there you don't have 
those tax driver scams that we heard from to time to time over there they charge more they give scams it's safer it takes about 25 minutes from the airport to the civic center or Cerro Catedral which is probably where we'll be staying and then you will spend around $25 for a transfer okay that's a hired car for you to go with the tour agency up to four people you can split this value to your hotel there's a very good website I'll leave it here below in the description of the video for you in the first fixed post that's the website where we buy all the tickets excursions tours of Barry Lucian in the whole world and there they also have the transfer that's very good for this price that's very nice and it's a reliable place it's always works you will leave the airport and there will already be a person with a sign with your name on it waiting for you they will help you with your bags take you to your hotel check you out this tip i think is very good and following the chronology of the trip there you got there where are you going where to stay in barry Loshi? guys there are two places that i always consider staying in barry Loshi, which are the civic center which is the center of town downtown that's where most people stay okay so my recommendation is to stay there it's where you have the most hotels all the restaurants bars nightclubs exchange houses to change your money supermarkets pharmacies you have everything there it's really the center of the city there are some nice museums to visit everything is there so i think it's much easier to stay there what is the other region there is Cerro Catedral which is this mountain which has the ski center which is the biggest ski center in the southern hemisphere it's the main place that people go to ski to go snow skiing and there are hotels at the base of the mountain if you stay in the center you have to walk for 30 minutes to get to Cerro Catedral if you are at the base of the mountain you will already be there you just have to go up rent the equipment everything is much easier but what are the points guys positive points for those who are going skiing snowboarding and like to stay to travel to do snow sports it's worth it because if you'll be there close it's a little more expensive okay these hotels at the base of the mountain are always a little more expensive than the ones downtown but if you're going to focus on your trip on that okay if you're not going to focus on that i advise you to stay in the center and go one or two days to the ski center which ends up being the best option because there when it gets dark until five in the afternoon you can ski after that you go to the hotel there's not so much to do it's all very easy there's no entertainment so i think that the downtown area is coolest the map here is the map of the region if you stay within this delimited circle it's perfect i'll leave it here below Below in the description of the video the link to the map we created it's a customized map that we created within a hotel search engine which is the largest hotel search engine in the world of course you know it too it's where we always make our reservation it's very good for searching finding good prices so click here it will open the map you close it enter the bit of your trip see it to search again and show the map again it will open the map with the hotels and the prices we have already left the filters to only show well rated nice clean and well located hotels so you can now choose your hotel and what's the golden tip guys to save a lot on accommodation Barry Loshi it's advanced notings okay the sooner you do it the cheaper you will pay because it gets crowded there it's a touristy place that's not that big so do it as soon as possible the nice thing about this website guys is that it has the free cancellation policy with almost every hotel in the world so you enter uh, you saw the first hotel okay book the hotel that you like because it will go one two weeks three weeks the prices will go up the trend of the hotel industry is always like that so for any trip book as soon as possible and you will save a lot if later on you want to change or even cancel it's a click there's no bureaucracy at all you don't pay anything but do it as soon as possible and you will see that you can save a lot on lodging the question I get the most is, Gabriel, what are the hotels you stayed at that you recommend? I'll also leave the links below in the description. Here in the description, guys, I'll leave the links for you to organize your whole trip with the services that we always use. We know where the cheapest, coolest, and easiest places are. Take a look. I'll also leave two links to hotels. One is very good, cheap, downtown, and it's very good, well-located, great, clean, spacious. And also the one that was very nice at the base of the mountain, which the price is very good. It's a cheap hotel, nice, well-located there on the mountain for those who want sports so take a look at both see how much time you have to make your trip that you might like and it might be a good option for you too 
And guys, any questions you may have, send it to us and we'll try to help you. We like it. It's even faster and easier. Add me there on Instagram at Pilotenzi. Send a direct message that I try to help. It's taking sometimes a few days because there are many messages accumulated, but I like to help. I try to answer whenever I can, really, and take the opportunity to follow us. We are always traveling around the world, showing there our travel tips in a very nice way. And now we are leaving Orlando. We are leaving the United States. We are showing our daily life here with the girls. We also have a new YouTube channel here, the Familia Lorenzi. If you can, subscribe there. Take a look at the videos that are really cool. We show up your really good daily life here in the United States. The adaptation of the girls, the games, the visit to the Disney parks. Because we live next door. The trips to the beach and everything else. Now, what language is spoken in Bariloche? How do I communicate there? Spanish predominates, of course, because it's Argentina, but 50% of the tourists are Brazilians, okay, guys, because of the proximity there. So many people speak uh, Spanish and Portuguese, which is like a mix of Spanish and Portuguese, and there are many Brazilians working there as well. So you will be able to communicate also with Portuguese, Spanish, and um, something like that. And they speak a lot of English, especially the more touristy places, the employees are well-trained to know how how to speak English with the foreigners that end up coming from other countries. So everything is very easy. How to get around in Bariloche? You have two options, okay, guys? Renting a car is great. With the car rental, you can do the tours that are the farthest ones, visit the lakes, the mountains, the trails. Everything is well signposted and very easy. The only point of attention is when it's the months of high snowfall, okay? You have to see well because you may have to put the chain on the tire, see how it works. Be careful when you go to the mountains. It can be a little bit complicated. But in the other months that don't have so much snow, in the summer months, it's very worthwhile, guys. It's very nice because you can do all the tours, visit everything, go to Cerro Catedral. That's open in the summer, the viewpoints, everything. So renting a car ends up being a nice and economical option because there are cabs there. There are many cabs. Their prices are usually fixed and it's not cheap. You will spend a lot of money with cabs, but you can get around with cabs too. Uber doesn't exist there, okay? In Buenos Aires, it does and it works super well, but not in Bariloche. There is a bus that runs every 30 minutes from downtown to Cerro Catedral, there to the ski center, to some places, but I found it, then search for pictures, look there, it's a very old bus, the conditions are really deplorable, they are crowded, full of people, you'll be with your backpacks, with your clothes, I found it quite complicated, sometimes it took 45, 50 minutes, people give reports, that's not really a good experience, so just research, take a good look, because sometimes we read, it seems like a good option but be careful with the way of transportation in Bariloche that can generate one problem or another depending on transportation that you choose now the two golden tips there for you to make reservations where to hire the transportation and let's go the car rental if you're interested in renting a car the best ways to do it at the airport because there are the best car rental companies there and you will not pay for the transfer the transfer to go to your hotel it's the best option just don't go directly to the rental companies I'll put here in the description a car rental comparator it's a gigantic comparator that does searching all car rental companies at the airport in the city anywhere and it shows you all the prices so you can search them all you can see which one is the cheapest and then you have the cheaper prices than the car rental company itself because they are very big they try to throw the price down there with to compete with each other so use the comparator you will see that you will save a lot focus on the main ones okay guys uh, those are the most uh, used ones and the most trustworthy Alamo, Avis, Budget, Six, Thrift, Europe Car, Movida, National, which are the biggest ones. There are some places that put the price well below, but people report a lot of problems, so don't do it there. And the other option, guys, is to do the tours with a travel agency, with a tour agency. There are plenty there. You can do it there. If you arrive at the time, you don't have any. If you want to do something, you can do it. Only in the center, there are some options. What's the best way that we do it? It's to buy beforehand through the internet. It's always cheaper. You have everything already planned and organized. There's a very good website that we use a lot, which has all the tickets and tours. I'll leave the link here below for you to check in the description of the video. It's cool because 
because it's one of the biggest websites in the world it has all the tours excursions you can see the reviews if people like it or not and there you can always find the best prices and what's nice it already has it in several languages and in several currencies so you can make your purchase paying in your local currency without paying the six percent iof which you would pay hiring there on the spot so it's a nice saving too take a look we really like to use them the tours we like the most are the panoramic tour which is not expensive it's 25 dollars you will see the most beautiful regions there there is the private tour through barry loshi this is the title of the tour if you look for it you will see that's a tour for four people the total price there is for four because it's a car a private guy to take you four or two or three whoever you are to know the whole city the most beautiful and panoramic points he goes to all the main places does the circuito chico circuit which is beautiful guys the landscapes everything it's a very complete tour if you only have a few days in Bariloche I recommend you to take this tour you will get to know all the main sites and landscapes of the place in very little time so you can enjoy everything and now talking about the snow clothes i'll talk about quickly guys because not everybody goes during the snow season but where to rent there are places to rent the snow clothes right both in the center and in the base of the mountain in the center it might be a little cheaper but when you're going to rent the equipment the ski the snow i think it's worth it to hire at the same base of the mountain because you will already be there you won't need to take this equipment on the transportation you go for 30 minutes so take a look at this do some research if you're going to stop in buenos aires or in Bariloche itself that are also stores for you to buy it can be a nice option if you buy snow suits a jacket a pair of pants and people usually wear those thermal clothes underneath it's not expensive you can buy it either in your country or there as well depending on the season you have to put a glove a cap it will also vary depending on the season you're going so then do some parallel research on this because if I talk here it gets complicated because for each season of the year it's a different outfit it's a different place but there are stores spread all over the place for you to rent both the clothes and the equipment okay guys the ski the snow and it's even cool for those who want to ski how does it work you go to Cerro Catedral and there you have to buy the ticket which costs more or less $15 it varies according to the season and then you go up you have to give this ticket to go up there are several cable cars transportations that take you up to various mountain tops and then you can ski there peacefully but then you need the equipment you have to rent either your snowboard or your ski equipment either at the base of the mountain or beforehand in a store or with a tour agency so take a look at this website that I mentioned it about the tours there is a very nice tour called ski lesson it's all the Day long they pick you up at your hotel take you up there with their transportation rent everything guide you do everything so it ends up being an easier option for a full day trip with all the costs included equipment rental and a nice thing about this website is that it has the guides the tours almost in all the languages including Portuguese so for those who speak Portuguese it ends up being nice because you have the guides everything in Portuguese so the communication ends up being much easier but they have all the other languages too and now the currency many people ask what money do i take there they use the argentinian peso but they also accept as well as buenos aires they accept the dollar the dollar is very well accepted there what's our tip guys argentina unlike the whole world they have a little bit different process the dollar if you research today how much it's worth on the official website on google whatever the government informs that for example today if you put there one dollar with uh one dollar you buy 145 argentinian pesos okay one dollar is 145 if you buy it in the exchange house in your country in your city whatever now there is a parallel dollar which is not such a legal and legalized dollar there but it's the dollar that people exchange many times in exchange houses that are a little more hidden in some places in the city that the exchange rate ends up being half of the value it's absurd only in Argentina this happens because the currency is very weak so just so you have an idea the parallel exchange rate the blue exchange rate they call it today with one dollar you buy 282 pesos that's twice what you would buy before at the airport so for argentina what's the tip we offer try to buy the parallel exchange rate it's much cheaper and you save a lot but in these illegal places not illegal but informal we think it's risky even for security reasons to buy fake bills a tip that everyone is offering and doing that we don't understand until now why it's happening but it's happening and everybody has been doing it for months there's a company called western union it's a very big company all over the world it has several stores in the cities in Bariloche that are two 
downtown. How do you do it? You send the money from your country to an account that you will open and enter in the Western Union. You will send $500 to Argentina and they will convert it to pesos in that good currency of the parallel exchange. But it's an official store, all right? The company is nice and then you will send the money there. It takes three days to get there, okay? So do it in advance and then when you get there or in Buenos Aires or Bariloche, go to any Western Union store, Google it and get your money in pesos with this parallel dollar rate. So it's a reliable way, it's a good company and with this exchange rate that ends up being half of the value, you will save a lot. It's an absurd economy. So this tip is for Argentina. We give a little bit uh, different tips than from the other countries because in general, we recommend that you exchange your money in your country to avoid problems, but there you have to enjoy this blue dollar option. Guys, about the tours, what to do, I'm not going to talk here, otherwise the video will be too long because there are a lot of cool things, but there are our videos about what to do in Bariloche in the summer and what to do in the winter. Check it out, it complements this one very well, so you have to check that out. And here below, I'll leave all the links for you to follow, okay, guys? The links that we use to organize our trips are the cheapest places. There is the chip for you to use your cell phone there that we found very good and it worked perfectly. It's a very good chip to use the internet there during the trip. The travel insurance comparator, the insurance is very important for the trip, especially for Bariloche, which has the mountain skiing, these riskier sports. Get one, guys. It's very cheap. This website is like the car rental website. It's a comparator. It compares all the insurance companies. It shows you the cheapest prices. It's half the price that the agencies sometimes sell so take a look they are good and very cheap insurances there is also information about where to buy the currency exchange there's also where to buy the tours guys there is everything it's all listed organized take a look that you will help you and that's it guys i hope you liked the video if you like it please don't forget to give us that like and subscribe to the channel because it really helps us a lot and be sure to watch the other videos that are very good i'll leave here on the side the playlist that has all the other videos from buenos aires and argentina for you to watch so thank you very much guys and have a nice trip